When you have your first new file, if you want to try to type some data in, you'll notice that just by clicking on our data table and typing in, it's not going to let you. Well, that's because you have to make some columns first. So although this looks like a spreadsheet, it's really set up to be more like a database. Don't let that scare you from using it. Uh, I'm gonna show you exactly how to enter initially just some numeric data. So first of all, you can go under the data menu and you'll see there's add number column, uh, or you can use the command one shortcut. So if I do either of these, click that, that did a couple of things here. Now, first of all, it added this object over here on the left-hand side, and it also, you'll notice that on the header of the data table, there's a little line here indicating the presence of a column. If I click here now, this gives me a column that I could actually type in any of these cells, double click and start typing in some numbers. Okay, another thing that I wanna show you though, is that in addition to using the data menu for adding columns of data, you can go over here to the left-hand side and there is a mini toolbar that has buttons for adding different data types. So if I go over here, and I click on this first one, for example, this has a little icon of a three, a number. If I click on that, that creates another number column. To type some data into here, the first thing you might wanna do is to give your columns a name. So here, uh, you wanna give a meaningful name to your column. I'm just gonna simply call this X and Y. You can edit the names either over here on your column list, or you can edit them over here within the header itself. And if you just wanna start typing in some data, I can double click here and uh, hit a number, hit return, that will take me to the next row. If I wanna go across the columns, I can hit a tab and that will take me to the next column in that row. Once I get to the end, I hit tab again and it goes to the beginning of the next row. So this is different than a spreadsheet where if you keep hitting tab, it's gonna keep going across because all the columns are already there in your sheet whether you need them or not. Okay, so here I'm just going to go ahead and uh, actually that wasn't what I wanted to, to type. So we'll go ahead and type in a few numbers and type in some numbers here as well. And there I have my two number columns.